Mid lane, we have the Venomancer and the Wind Ranger rotate over for that. They took out the Shadow Fiend, so he's 0 and 1. And then up top, there was a nice initiation from afar onto EO. EO. IWO. Can't say it. So he's 0 2 and 1 at the moment. He's got two points in Bristleback now. So he's a bit tankier, and, and maybe that won't. Yeah, he might not be as in much trouble as he was before, so. There is a smoke gate coming mid or some sort of gate. There's the unstable concoction. The grave shield raises two hit Peace and the right click will go for the kill. Visage oh actually grabs the last God. hit there. Nice little gank coming through from the two support heroes of Swag and a little bit of gold going their way as well. Indeed, which makes it three to two. Darkseer is still dominating the farm there in the bottom lane. 27 to Clockwork 17 and actually Tabo having a bit of a dive with Mihawk with the cogs. Very nice spell to have when being dove at your tower, and he's going to fend it off the aggression from Tavo. He's actually even going to go back in and maybe try to turn this around. Nah, Tavo's going to get out of there right now. Me actually, uh, Mihawk actually has enough mana for a hookshot, but I don't think he'll use it, and Tavo can just use, well, an iron shell if necessary. Um, but the thing is, he actually is out of mana right now. His bottle charges are empty. Mihawk could try to fight, but I think it'd be very questionable. Tavo right now is... He already scaled up wall, interestingly enough, which maybe is the start of something new here. Uh, because we used to always see, like, you get the Iron Shell and two points in Surge and then max your vacuum as well, or at least get three points into it before you get wall, but he goes for it really early on here, which is interesting. Well, the meta sort of changed from when Darkseer used to do that in, in the past, so sure, you still want to have your vacuum pretty big, but Clockwork is going to be roaming around looking to make big fights and initiations, and, and Darkseer wants to be there in time to also drop a wall and either win the fight or stop the fight off of uh, his rotation as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's... I think. I mean, I've been seeing it earlier, too, and we haven't even been seeing Darkseer all that much in, in 6.79. Yeah, and that's just the byproduct of getting nerfed to a certain Task extent. Up top. Yeah, Unstable Concoction's about to go. Ewo going to take that damage. The Venomous Scale's going to hit. Just trying to slow Clot down, but he hits the Lutheran Crush as well. There's the Solid Tumption. There's, the, of course, Wan keeping him up alive. The right click's coming through from the Poison Sink. Shackle latches. The Quill Spray's going. The Power Shot. Nice Wan to save his life as well. Quill Spray's not in range, trying to block with the Plague War, not happening. Here we go, 420, throwing the Unstable back. Misko maybe taking his Soul Subject, not enough mana to cast it for Ned. And a lot of trading, but nobody dying up at this top lane just yet. Yeah, the Wand Charges keep the Slardar alive, and his really high armor, 6 right now at level 4. The, the, the long range harass was there from the Windrunner from the Venomancer, but it wasn't quite enough, so two Magic Wands saved the day for both the Bristle and the Slardar. Yeah, and it just goes to show why those are really critical items to have, especially in try versus Radiant's try matchups. Like you need to have it, especially versus bristle. Yeah, that too. Like quill spray, big deal. You need to make sure that you have it. Plus, I mean, when you think about it, though, the amount of times soul sims you might get charged or sprint or slithering crush or what have you, like, I guess really a stick for either team is is pretty much necessary, but. Uh, still though, nobody dies, so Ewo will go back to farming here. You can see Slaughter is actually getting back in the lane right now, sprinting his way there. His treads are already completed, so not bad for what he's got right now. Ewo though has 43 last hits, so he's got treads too. He's actually got a ring of regen as well. Um, Salve, Stab Shield, Wand, whatever, just standard stuff. Nisoku going to throw this ward down. Not sure if they have any Citrus to counter ward. If they do, I'm not sure if Ned knows that that's there. Uh, nice little ward placement just to give vision behind that tower to make sure they see any TPs coming through from, of course, Swag. And I'm surprised Smash, I mean, he's got his Dragon Form up now. We've got Shadow Fiend farming stacks in the jungle, and then he went down to the bot lane to, I guess, get the ward. What did he do? The right there? He picked the wards up off the courier. Now Smash goes in towards that mid tower. Had he done it a little earlier, I feel like it would already be dead because we've got Lelouch that hasn't even been in the lane for about a minute. Yeah, and, and that's kind of questionable because you think like he needs to be getting some farm if he's not you know farming stacks in in of course the jungle then he's oh bottom lane shackle shot doesn't latch there's gonna be battery salt walls on the ground mihawk has cogs decided not to use it tower's gonna surge away taking tower damage in the process coming around for the backside misco he's got shackle in one second hook shot getting canceled he's trying to juke a tower behind creeps iron shell going Battery Salt's done. Flare, just gonna try to whittle him down in health. Tavo might die to this tower. He's gonna surge himself forward. Mihawk has that hook shot. He might need to use it soon. Long range shackle. Hook shot's gonna go. That'll be the kill. Nice setup coming through. And the Benny Hill music is playing, but they get the kill in the end. Wow. Yeah, the TP was on cooldown for Tavo the whole time he was running, and right before he died, it just came off. Had the, the mini shackle or the hook not been there, he maybe could have wand charged the TP out, but it was it was a tall order and. He maybe wanted to also just die to the towers instead of one hero. Yeah, and he... Notches he was, it up at 3 and 3, though. Yeah, 
So it, it's even right now, and really, it, now that there is level six on Klotz, the amplified damage is going to be coming into play against Sebo, coming against pretty much everybody, whoever they want to use it on, whoever they want to gank or go on here. So at, at 10 minutes in, also, the Shadow Fiend has decent farm at 52 last hits. He's got 36 stacks of Necromastery. He doesn't have any real items just yet other than his treads on a Wraith Band, but he'll get some soon. Probably go for BKB first or something along those lines. Um, Mihawk is heading down to the bottom rune spot and they actually have just have two supports top for the longest time they've, they've kind of roamed this co around here they decided not to do that Dyer's aggressive traveling and i like that decision it means that they're going to get this tower a little bit earlier uh with smashing that elder dragon form so a free tier one tower there Dyer's middle tower has yeah and mihawk was waiting bottom for the the 10 minute rune it paid off he picked up the haste and he's looking to rotate around I think the the clockwork play here needs to be instrumental in shutting down Shadowfiend just farming. They know he's going to be chilling at these camps in the jungle that are stacked, and they should be able to find him and uh, shut him down pretty easily. Dyer's wow, middle these are mud tables. golems. Look at those mud golems. My god. Well, bottom lane, the hawk taking damage. And uh, this Starks here is still trying to get levels down here. You can see that he's not happy with where he is right now. He wants to get a couple more points in a vacuum and then feel really comfortable. Top lane, Evo's getting hit up with Amplify. But for right now, just Evo's just sitting here getting levels and, and maybe getting a couple last hits. And, and they're not really doing much here for Swag right now. They're just kind of sitting and, you know, helping Klotz, which, you know, he's not going to get initiated on, it looks like. So he's fine for the most part. What? Yeah, sitting with the, the negative three there for the armor, taking, uh, what is it now? Well, I guess it's really just two, but only 13% reduction right now from physical attacks from Slardar that hits four. Just 79, so it's not too bad, but now we've got familiars online because, of course, Ned is level six. He just summoned them up. He's got the Medallion of Courage finished on the Visage. It looks like 420 might even be going for another of his own if they're going to double up on that item. That would be very interesting. I've I've rarely seen two medallions in play but what i do like is evo building the mech on the bristleback and that gives him the armor that he needs early on here against the armor reduction strap that they've got going for swag unstable concoction uh hmm a little unstable yeah we'll call we'll chalk it up to a little bit of a misplay unstable like you said uh for right now though smash is just having a good time mid right now going back to bases louch he actually is going for that bkb first he picks up the ogre club unsurprisingly and everything is pretty hunky door right now. Nothing's going crazy Dyer's here, except for the smoking coming out attack. from Ned and 420. There's two heroes they might try to go on. Smash and this core are gonna smoke themselves as well. I'm not sure if they saw that. They have this dire war. They smoked right on top of it. So they know they smoked there. Uh, they're not gonna find him to get the kill, but they're aware that they're off the map right now. And only one of Visage's bird is smoked. I don't know if it was out of the range or if a hero was closer to one familiar than the other, but they did just see Visage walk through middle, and now he's going to find Smash. Windrunner's right there. Ned, looks like he will survive through that. Now 420 dropping the acid spray. Gonna retreat. Lelouch wanted to throw out some potential raises. And then there's Mihawk with not enough mana to hook into this fight. So I think it's going to be all retreat here for Radiant's revenge. Bottom tower well, I mean, look attack. at Klotz, though. He's trying to go hard. He's sprinting in. I don't know if you know if he wants to really dive this tower. It's actually in deny range. Mihawk is just Dyer's like, I need to deny this. Uh, what a fortification. Radiant's Amplified damage. He's still in trouble. Fortified. The Cogs. Can he get the deny off? There's the wall. He will not. The tower goes down, and so will he. A bit of a misplay. He will fall there. So 4-4 four to four the score and a free tier 1 tower. Structures. Well, not free, because if we look mid lane right now, Smash is in that green dragon form. The Glyph of Fortification comes out Dyer's from the Dire Swag Iron Tiger, and this tower is going to be probably left at a quarter HP if there's like three more attacks from Smash. He wants to try to take this and whittle it down right now. He's, he's done a nice job, I think. We talked about, I think the Elder Dragon form is, is really one of the only reasons ZK has picked up. It's just Radiant so you can try to whittle that tower down as much attack. as possible in the first couple Dyer's of minutes, especially like at 30 minutes, not attack. bad. And they're already going for a tier two top as well. Acid Spray is going to try to push them back. We might see a big fight happening as everyone is rotating up here. There's going to be a TP coming out from Mihawk to make sure he can get into the fight. The mech is done, coming out for the bristle back. Misoku's trying to back off. The courier's there. Surge forward from Klotz. He's got a sprint going. He's looking for a Slytherin crush right now. Nice jackal shot, though, to make sure he doesn't aggress any further. Slytherin misses. Power shot. Nice duds. Mihawk, no. He misses the hook shot in. Unstable. Vacuum. There's going to be a huge shadow feed. Ultimate smash in trouble right now as the right clicks are going through. There's going to be a, pretty much everybody dead or low on the side of Force Revenge. They lose the DK. Klotz working on this creep wave. Wow, what a huge fight coming out for Swag.
Wow, indeed. I saw Venomancer hit a four-man gale, and my first thought was, this is over. Revenge is going to walk all over them, but then the Shadow Fiend ultimate went off, and just being in the presence of the Dark Lord himself in an acid spray, they took so much damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Even the high armor DK with 20 armor right now pretty much melted. It was disgusting how much damage they just threw Radiant's out there. The, the vacuum coming through attack. from Tavo on top of the Requiem, which was it, it was disgusting how much damage they pumped out there plus the right clicks obviously they have a huge lead now four to eight i guess not huge Radiant's but still pretty big it's a two thousand gold lead they got just from that fight and experience is four thousand and if they get this roshan it's going to be even more as well and with the minus armor they have this is going to be a very fast roshan even if it's just the two clots as well as the lounge and it looks like it will be so there's the amplified damage and suddenly roshan's going to go down and that's an aegis and all of a sudden force revenge are maybe not looking too hot here no, not so far in uh, game one. They saw this minor armor strat, minus armor strat, sort of, you know, being created, no, being Sean drafted up by swag, and they didn't really do anything to stop it, if you really can. I mean, maybe banning a Shadow Fiend, and I almost, you mentioned the vacuum into the ultimate, I almost feel dumb for not realizing that, but I haven't seen Darkseer in a long time, so that's the reason for the Darkseer pick right there. Yeah, they want to combine up these ultimates. The unstable concoction on top of that could be disgusting and has been disgusting. The PKB is going to go for the lodge just like that at 1540. There's the medallion.